In this presentation, we're going to create sales graphs from our accounting data. Let's zoom into it with zero. Here we are in our zero demo company dashboard. We're going to start off by opening up our income statement by going to the accounting drop down. We're going to go down to that income statement. We're going to wait till it populates up top right when it does. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to duplicate that tab, make it a duplicate of the income statement to the right. We're going to generate our other report where we're going to get our data on the left. Now we got our income statement. We're considering our primary account up top, that being the income statement, uh, the sales tab, our revenue tab. We generated a report last time or in a prior presentation where we broke that sales number out by customer, by who we sold to. What I'd like to do is take that data by customer now and break that information out into a nice like pie chart or something like that so we can look at who our favorite customers are in that format. We can add that to a presentation or something and that will look uh, look nice. Let's go back to the first tab, see if we can do that. We're going to say the accounting drop down. We're going to go down to the reports. We're in the sales information and we're looking for that income by contact again. We did this last time. We've seen this before, but now I just want to take that data. We're going to be making uh, charts from it. Note that other software might have functionality where it makes soft where it makes charts within it, but really you have a lot more functionality if you just take the data and go to Excel. So uh, and then you can make any kind of charts you want with the data from it. So that's really I think the best way to deal with charts from basically any software that you have, and then you can you can go from there. So I'm going to take this information. I'm going to bring it down to uh, December of 2019 so let's say december 2019 let's go for the entire 12 months and let's say that we don't want any previous periods just that information and then i'm going to update this report so there we have our numbers and so that's that's what we want so that 23 427 is going to match if i go back to the income statement the 8,000 doesn't match here. Okay, so let's say this is as of 2020. Let's bring this back to last year and see if it's a date thing. Usually when there's a problem, it's a date issue. So I want to go to the last year. I want to be in 2019. And now we have that 23,427. That looks more like right at what it should be. If I go back 23,420. All right, that's it. So now let's take this information. Let's export it to Excel. And we're going to take that data. We've done this in the past, but I want to do it again just so we can take that data and see how you would get it from here, then manipulate it into a graph. So I'm going to open that up. Now, ultimately, we want it on our, our graph to be on our uh, standard reports where all our other reports are at. We're going to add the graph there. Now, this might be a little bit out of order. We did the AR graph, so I might have recorded those in, in a different order. So, But the point is, this is where all of our, of our other reports are. I'm going to add a new tab. The new tab is going to be here and we want to have a graph and this is going to be the sales graph. I'm going to call the sales graph data. And then I'm going to take that information that I'm going to take the data to make our graph from. I'm going to allow the editing on it. And then I'm going to take the data. I'm just going to copy the whole thing as we've seen in the past. I'm going to put my cursor up in that little triangle, right click and copy the entire sheet. And then minimize this. I'm going to be in A1. you got to be in A1 in order to paste it or it won't let you do it. And we're going to paste it. I'm going to paste it here. There we have it. And then I'm going to make this up to uh, bring it up to 150. Now, I just want the data I need to make a chart from now or a graph or whatever you want to call it, the pie chart. So I'm going to delete everything that I don't need. I, I, I The total column, notice is summaring just this one column over here. So really, I only need this column, which are hard-coded numbers. There's no formulas in them except this formula down below, which is summing up. That's fine. So I don't really want the total column. I would want the hard coded numbers here. So I'm going to actually delete the total column. I just don't even need it because it's totaling up one column. So that's silly. It's just silly that it's even like that. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to take the one down to uh, six. Don't need those right click and delete those. And there's we have it. And that's that's what we need now. The percentages that we're looking at here when we make our pie chart, if we if we want to just calculate them, that would be this number. But you don't need to do this, by the way. It'd be, but this number divided by this number, and then I'm going to make this an absolute reference F4 or dollar sign before the B and dollar sign before the 12. You only need a mixed reference, but absolute will do it too. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to highlight it all the way down, and then I'm going to sum up just so. I don't know why I put a capital M there, but that's okay. And so there, and then if I take all of these and we make them into percentages, there's the percentages, right? And that add up to a hundred. That's what our pie chart's going to be. 
So I'm going to highlight these numbers. I don't need to highlight the percentages. Just That's just the way that you could see them. And then go to the Insert tab. We're going to add a pie chart. Let's just add a normal kind of pie chart here, whatever the normal pie chart settings are. And there it is. And then we could we could take that. We can put it, uh, you know, different formats. You could try to put one that has the percentages in there like this. But note they're kind of crowded. They're kind of crowded together. So one way you can you can deal with that is you might say, hmm, maybe I should take this data and kind of group like an other category. So what I'm going to do is then copy this data. I'm going to copy this data. I don't need the total and I don't need the percentages. I'm just going to copy this data. And I'm going to put it down below and see what else we can we can do with it. So what I'd like to do is sort this data by by the number now. So I got to highlight one cell above it it's here. So I'm going to highlight this cell above it to make sure that's included. I'm going to add filters now. So I'm going to go to the data tab, sort, and then I'm going to add this filter. That's going to allow this going to put this little filter thing on top of it. The other way you could do is insert like a table if you want. But I'm going to highlight this little filter and then I want it to go from Z to A. So the highest number is on top. So there we have it. And, and so we've got that set. Now maybe these ones down below, maybe I take a look at, at all of these. Uh, maybe, maybe like, you know, these, let's take the, all these are really kind of grouped together. So let's take this 5,656 and let's just make that one number, right? If I was to, if I was to make that. Five six five six four nine five six five six point four nine, and then remove all these. I'm just gonna delete these, delete, and then call this other, and then delete these, and then if I sum these up, I'll just check my total. And does this still total up to that twenty three? It does, right? And so then I can use this maybe and, and make a pie chart here and then insert another chart other and a chart and then if i was to add uh something like the percentages in it if i wanted the percentages now it's it's not quite so so crowded right that's one way we can deal with that and, and there's different formats you can adjust the percentages to as well so just a couple ways you can you can think about how you're gonna you're gonna group that information together so then if I wanted to take that information and say, put this on uh, a tab that other people can see it, you, I wanted to just delete the title. I'm going to delete the title here. You could just put it over the data like that. And then you can print all these reports and you'd only see the, the chart if that was the only data that you had. Or you can copy this to another sheet. I might say I want another sheet, rename the sheet and call this a sales graph not data, but the sales graph, take this information, copy it and put it over here. And now you just have the graph. Then what you could do with this data sheet, right click on it and hide it. So then when you print something out, you, that cell, that whole sheet will be hidden and you could print this whole thing out without having to like remove that page or say, Hey, don't print this page type of thing. You can also take this and copy and paste it to, uh, a, a PDF file. I'm going to unhide it now by, I usually select the, the two tabs involved by holding down shift or control, then right clicking on them and unhide. So unhide. Uh, now I hit it. So let's unhide. So now I've got to unhide one at a time, right click, unhide. And one more time, right click and unhide. All right. So there we have it. So, and you can also uh, take this information, put it into a, to like a PowerPoint some way. And there's a lot more options, of course, to be filtering this data. You can also take this data and filter it in, in a pie chart type of format. So you can insert here and you might want to make like a, not a pie chart, like a bar graph, something like this. And you could take that information and format it however you would like to. Uh, I'm going to take the title, the name out of it. And then you could copy that and say, maybe I, maybe I want to put that on my, on my graphs page. I could put that over here, see if it fits on one page, you know, so it all fits on a page. And then again, you can hide this information on this side, the data and pull that over. So that's just a couple ways you, you can make these common pie chart graphs. So if, if you have other accounting software that says, look, we make a pie chart. Usually the accounting software that makes the pie chart, it's not very, 
and the pie chart's very fixed. There's not a whole lot of options in it. You got a whole lot more options if you take that data, put it into like Excel or some other spreadsheet program and actually create the pie chart, which really isn't that difficult for most of the common pie charts. You just take the data, which you can export, and then just, you know, highlight the thing and insert the pie chart. And then you can research on how much, how detailed you want the pie chart or, or more, a lot more uh, details in terms of what you want that thing to look like. Uh, the design of it, the color of it, and all that good stuff.